guys so i am trying to catch up on some videos because i have been terrible this month it's the 19th and i so have not posted 19 videos so far i'm sorry um so you're gonna see a few videos i think don't even quote me on that um today of me in the same outfit because i'm gonna try to knock out at least three videos today uh because i am trying to play catch up uh, but we just went on summer leave and we were really busy with camping and Disney and getting Ian ready to start school for the first time. And I just have not had time to make videos um, or and I didn't want to like keep making quick little cell phone videos because I didn't think that they were like, I don't know, who would want, I don't know. Anyways, um, so today I thought I would do a video that I've been thinking about doing for a while but I have been holding off because I didn't want the video to come out sounding negative or to make anybody feel scared or to make anybody um, just doubt themselves. So that's why I kind of didn't post it in the, in the past but I just keep thinking about it so I decided I'm going to go ahead and make the video but just so you know. This video is going to be about comparing my three pregnancies and how a lot of old wives tales or things that people tell you, you know, if you get these symptoms, it, it means a bad thing. Or if you get these symptoms, it means good, good news that, you know, I've had three pregnancies now. All three of them have been so completely different. I've had different symptoms for each one and I've, out of the three, I've only had one healthy pregnancy. So, um... Really, every pregnancy is different, and no matter what symptoms you are or are not having, you could be completely fine, or, you know, maybe not, and maybe you need to go see a doctor, but you really cannot rely on what anybody else says other than maybe your doctor, um, because, and even sometimes doctors can be wrong, which is why I said even maybe your doctor sometimes. There are, you know, they have, there have been some cases where doctors, you know, say you should you should be expecting to miscarry. You know, you have all the signs of a miscarriage and I think you're gonna miscarry. And then they go on to have a very healthy pregnancy. Um, I'm not sure how many of you watch Ellie and Jared's channel, but they had that exact same thing. They had that exact thing happen um, with their second pregnancy. And uh, I believe she went to the doctor and the doctor even called her back and said, you know, this sounds like a miscarriage and I think you're gonna miscarry. And so here they were, you know, already starting to mourn the loss of a pregnancy and guess what that pregnancy went on completely healthy um she had no complications during that pregnancy delivery nothing she's a completely healthy baby boy and um so really i mean every pregnancy is different i know people say that all the time but it is so true and you just kind of have to wait and see what happens um so let me get into it and I will tell you about each of my pregnancies, which you probably already know about if you've been following me for a long time. But uh, here we go. So my first pregnancy, it took us eight months to conceive. And I don't remember having any pregnancy symptoms, um, except for my period was late. And I didn't test until I was a week late for my period. Um, I had had so many negative tests, tests up until that point and we were very busy because um, we were moving cross country and so I was just busy like packing up the house, waiting for movers, like I was so busy that it was constantly on my mind, don't get me wrong, but I just, I was able to not test. Usually I'm like, can I test now, can I test now, can I test now, um, and I cannot wait. But because I had so much stuff going on, even though it was constantly a thought like, I wonder Pregnant while I'm packing these cups. I wonder if I'm pregnant while I'm packing these DVDs. Um, but anyways, I didn't test until a week late and I didn't have any pregnancy symptoms that I remember um, other than the day that I actually tested, I woke up in the middle of the night to pee, which is weird for me because I don't wake up to pee. Um, the only time other than that that I've woken up to pee is when I was pregnant with my son. Um, so I remember I had woken up to pee, which I thought was weird, and I was a week late, and um, so I tested and it was positive. Um, so a few days after that positive, I started getting nauseous, um, and it just built and built and built, and I was so sick. I don't think, well, I'm trying to think if I was that sick even with Ian. I was either as sick or more sick with my first pregnancy. And, uh, like, I remember we went to Disney World for a week 
a week or two. I don't really remember how long we were there. But I could not eat anything. Every, all the food looked gross. The ice cream looked gross. Everything looked gross except for pickles. I basically lived on pickles for a week while we were there. Um, and even that, I mean, I didn't really want it, but that was the only thing that I could get down and keep down. Um, everything else sounded disgusting. As long as I was not concerning myself with food, I felt lightly nauseous. But as soon as, like, Neil's like, do you, do you want to go get an apple? Like, do you want to have some water? And wanted nothing. And a lot of people say that if you are nauseous, that that is a good sign um, that nausea equals that your pregnancy is progressing well and you don't have anything to worry about. Well, I miscarried that pregnancy. So I, it really irritates me when people keep perpetuating that. Oh, well, if you're nauseous, you're fine. No, not necessarily. Every pregnancy is different. Um, sure, maybe you're very nauseous and your pregnancy does end up fine. That happens all the time. But, you know, there are rare instances, too, when, you know, you're nauseous and you miscarry and it doesn't work out. Nausea doesn't automatically equal healthy pregnancy. It doesn't automatically equal, um, you know, a pregnancy that isn't going to continue. So I, I hated that myth. I wish people hadn't told me that because here the whole time I'm feeling really sick and I'm thinking, oh, this is good. It's good that I'm sick. That means everything's going well. And it didn't. Um, other than that, I don't, other than nausea, um, my stomach was growing, um, and that was another thing. I made it until 14 and a half weeks. Um, I had no spotting. Um, my nausea ended, you know, after a week or two, which is completely normal. And my stomach was growing. So here I thought, well, you know, my stomach's growing. Obviously, there's a baby growing in there, so everything's fine. It was not fine. I believe the doctor said my baby had actually stopped growing around five or six weeks. Um, and it was considered a missed miscarriage, so my uterus kept growing, but not the baby. Um, and so I know some people will think, oh, but my belly's growing, that means my baby's actually making the belly grow. Not necessarily, sometimes your uterus just grows. Um, because my belly was actually pretty, pretty big. I mean, it was about the size of what a 14 and a half week belly would look like, except that, um, it wasn't the baby that was making my belly grow. Um, and then, uh... Yeah, I did not actually miscarry until, I want to say I was in my 20 weeks-ish area. Um, I chose to deliver naturally. The doctor said I didn't have any fever or any infection, and so they just kept an eye on me because I chose to do it naturally. Um, in hindsight, I would not choose that way again uh, for a missed miscarriage, at least not for me because I feel like my body doesn't. Um, when I miscarry, I don't like have a traditional one where it's just like, everything just releases. Um, my body kind of continues to think I'm pregnant unless uh, a doctor intervenes. Um, unless I wait a really long time, like I said, I would have probably been around like 21, 22-ish weeks by that point when my body actually was like, oh, okay, let's, let's do this. And then um, I actually miscarried. And it was really hard to continue to go like a month or two, um, like being pregnant, but not actually being pregnant. So anyways, so those are two myths that I did not like, um, was that if your belly's growing and you're nauseous, good pregnancy. Because for me, that didn't hold true. Um, another thing was that people say when you're in the second trimester, you're safe. Well, I had been 14 and a half weeks, um, and I hadn't actually been seen by a doctor up until that point because the doctor that I went to, they didn't see people until your second trimester because they were like, eh, the first trimester's too iffy. Um, we just don't, it's too early, we don't like to see people. So they didn't give me an appointment until 14 and a half weeks. Um, and so if they had seen me earlier, they probably would have detected it earlier. But um, here I was thinking, okay, well, nothing's gone wrong by now and I'm in the second trimester, so everything must be good. And it wasn't. So I had nausea, a growing belly, and I was safely in the second trimester, and yet I still miscarried. Um, so my second pregnancy... Um, again, I feel like I had no symptoms uh, with my son. I wasn't nauseous. I wasn't peeing more. I, I don't remember having any symptoms at all as far as pregnancy. Um, I also didn't have any period symptoms. I wasn't bloated. I wasn't wanting chocolate like I normally do. I just felt normal. Um, and then uh, it was the day that my period was supposed to start, and I was like, I'm just going to test, and it was positive. And... Uh, 
that pregnancy, I went on to have a completely normal, sorry, I've got hiccups. Um, I went on to have a typical pregnancy. I had no spotting. Um, I became nauseous around six or seven weeks. It lasted two weeks. It stopped. My belly grew. Everything was perfect, and my son is perfect, and um, I had a very typical, normal, uh, uneventful pregnancy and delivery, which is awesome. And then my third pregnancy, which I had last year, um, I did have some pregnancy symptoms with that one. Um, heightened smell, sore boobs, um, and I believe I tested when my period was due. Um, I did have some spotting with that period. It was very teeny, teeny, tiny spotting, like a light pink when I wiped. And um, so that scared me at first because I didn't have spotting with my first or second pregnancy. Um, but a lot of people kept telling me that that was very common in pregnancy. And it is. I'm not saying that it's not. So if you're pregnant and you're having spotting, don't like freak out because it is very, very common. Um, but for me, you know, everybody was telling me like, it's common. Don't worry about it. But for me, it actually was a signal of a miscarriage. And uh, that pregnancy, I... Oh, they also tell you that if you see a heartbeat, you're good to go. And um, we actually had an ultrasound at eight weeks, I believe. And the baby was eight, the, like the size of it was the size of an eight week baby. And um, the ultrasound check was just going so fast that I actually don't think I saw it. But she said that she saw a very healthy heartbeat and that everything looked fine. And then the very next week at nine weeks, I went back and they couldn't find the baby at all. And then I had lots and lots and lots of more ultrasounds um, just to make sure uh, because they were planning on giving me a DNC and they wanted to make sure before they gave me a DNC that there was no viable pregnancy in there. So I had so many ultrasounds. Um, I had some like the abdominal ones. I had the inside ones. What is that called? Sorry, I'm drawing a blank right now. Um, and they could not find the baby at all. Like it just disappeared. And, uh, yeah, so I've had three very different pregnancies now, and none of them had any of the same symptoms that the other one had, except for nausea, and I didn't have any nausea in my third pregnancy, and I made it to, like, nine weeks. Um, with my previous two pregnancies, I got nauseous around six weeks and stopped being nauseous, I think, around eight weeks, um, but then with the third one, I got no nausea whatsoever, so... Literally, I have like nothing to go on as to what a typical pregnancy is for me. Um, I'd probably say the only thing that was consistent with all three of my pregnancies was that I did not get my period. Like that just didn't show up. Um, but other than that, all of my symptoms were different each pregnancy. Um, either scary symptoms such as spotting. Um, I didn't have cramping, I don't think, with any of my pregnancies. Um, but other things like, uh, oh, and growing belly. I had growing belly with all three. And, uh, I mean, obviously with my son, I got huge because that pregnancy continued. But, um, even with the first and the third pregnancies that ended in miscarriage, even then my belly grew both times. So anyways, um, I don't really know what the point of this video was other than to tell you, just don't compare yourself, uh, to anybody else's pregnancy. And... Don't let anybody tell you like, oh, if you're experiencing this, you might be having a miscarriage. No, because a lot of people, other people have experienced that and went on to have very healthy pregnancies, like spotting. Now that I've had spotting during a pregnancy, I could sit here and say, oh, but if you have spotting, you know, that, that was a symptom for me of an impending miscarriage, so you might be. No, because a lot of people spot and then they go on to have perfectly healthy pregnancies. Um, a lot of people don't see the heartbeat right away and go on to have very healthy pregnancies. So I guess the point of this video is that nothing is true. <laughs> um, you could go on to have a healthy pregnancy and get your period every month, just like normal. Um, some people have their period. It's crazy. Um, so yeah, so just enjoy your pregnancy as long as you have it and see your doctor and you really just gotta wait and see what happens because um, every single person's pregnancy and story is different and even things that were scary for this person and ended up meaning something bad 
you could have all those same symptoms and your story could end up well and vice versa. So, um, so yeah, I just kind of thought it would be interesting to share my three pregnancies back to back just because I know all three of mine have been so crazy different from each other. Um, that, uh, you know, somebody that maybe consistently with their first three children had one type of pregnancy and then all of a sudden now they're having a very different pregnancy and they might think that something is wrong. It doesn't necessarily mean something is wrong. Um, unfortunately for me, that means that when I get pregnant, I don't know what's normal, what's good, what's bad. Um, because every pregnancy is different. Um, anyways, I hope this video was possibly helpful to somebody. I don't know. And uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye.